Well, a lot of talk here on campus about Ben Shapiro's visit and a lot of talk amongst law enforcement. There will be stepped up security measures. There will be barricades on campus and police will also have an extra defense tool pepper spray in the event of violent clashes. A thousand tickets were sold to this event. You must have the ticket and identification before you're even allowed to cross over a perimeter. We don't intend to abandon our commitment to free speech or to our or our commitment to the safety and well-being of our campus community. And that commitment has prompted aggressive security measures on and around the UC Berkeley campus with police setting up barricades and a perimeter around Zellerbach Hall where Ben Shapiro will be speaking. Preparing for tomorrow and the unexpected means relying on what has happened in the past. Lessons were learned after last February's event with Milo Yiannopoulos, where our police force, truth be told, was outnumbered by members of this Antifa black bloc paramilitary group that came on campus. So we'll be stopping anybody wearing a mask um, and we'll be confronting anybody who wants to engage in unlawful behavior. Another line of defense, pepper spray, which was backed by the mayor and city council as another police tool should there be any violent confrontations to law enforcement or the community. And take note, come 4 p.m. tomorrow, there will be a closed perimeter around Zellerbach Hall and surrounding buildings with no access permitted unless you have a ticket. Parking will be closed all day at Barrow Lane parking spaces, Pepper Tree Lane parking spaces, North Sproul Lot, and the ASUC garage. Berkeley's police chief says his officers and UC Berkeley campus police are coordinating safety operations for tomorrow and the rest of Free Speech Week. But the uh, operation that will happen will be one where there's a, a joint command where we're constantly in communication with each other, uh, working together at the high levels of command to uh, address whatever situations come up and take appropriate action. And some students expressed concerns about the possibility of violent clashes in a campus that seemed militarized. And for that, some professors have canceled classes altogether tomorrow. Now, we'll have complete coverage on tomorrow's events and the speech as well, and the free speech week that follows coming up on KPIX 5 tomorrow. For now, I'm Juliet Goodrich at UC Berkeley. Back to you.